you probably heard of software called TCP Optimizer and you know a lot of people are saying that it made their ping way better in the game less packet loss better internet on their PC yada 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 but you're probably wondering in the year 2025 is TCP Optimizer the program still relevant well, we're both going to find out because I had the same question before making this video. Before showing you the settings that I use, I'm first going to show you the, you know, how the game before applying any TCP optimizer optimization. So I tested it out in two games. The first one would be Tekken because that's the game I mostly played. Take note, I only accepted matches from people with five, you know, best network and also on Wired. But... You know, Tekken is key, you get delayed frames if you get packet loss or if you have consistent or inconsistent ping. So I'm wishing to at least alleviate some of those using TCP Optimizer. And then the second game that I've tested is Fortnite. Now I live on the Asia regions, so our servers are just okay. They're not the best. Now, usually I get this amount of ping, which I'll be showing you in a bit. And then I'm hoping to lower it down or make it more consistent with TCP Optimizer. So let's hop onto the games. Now let's first talk about how you can download TCP Optimizer. So all you have to do is head over to this website called speedguide.net slash downloads.php but you want to go ahead and download it from speedguide.net. It always houses the latest version of this software. Now after downloading it, I suggest you making a folder and after making a folder, drag tcpoptimizer.exe there. Now we can run the program as administrator. And the first thing that I would do is on the network adapter selection, although we modify all the network adapters, I want you to select your main one just to make sure. Now, as you can see, personally, I actually use a wireless net. I don't really use wired because my router is quite far. But um, if you have a router pretty close to you or you can get by with wires going all through house from your main living room to your own room, then you should always use wired. It's always going to be better. On the connection speed, it doesn't matter what your internet is, just max this out just so it allows your PC or whatever to gain the most amount from your own internet provider service or whatsoever. Now, the first thing that I would do is hit optimal. I'm setting this to optimal first before custom because optimal mostly does the changes, but we're still going to change a lot of it. And if you just want to skip, you can just skip and copy my settings. This thing would pop up, just press no to it and then hit custom. From custom, we're going to be changing the following settings. So the TCP Windows auto tuning would be normal. Windows scaling would be disabled. Congestion control provider should be CTCP. Receive side scaling or RSS should be enabled. RSC should be enabled. Time to live should be 64. ECN capability should be disabled. Checksum offloading is a little different. If you think your router usually goes really hot and isn't able to process all the data that all of your computers or devices are managing, then you can offload some of your checksum to your actual CPU. So basically, if you click on disable, everything would be processed on the CPU from your own personal CPU, your processor. But if you enable this, this would offload it to your router. Now you can choose if you have a pretty weak CPU, I'll probably click enable on this one. But if you have a pretty good CPU, I personally have a mid to high tier one, which is the 5800X, I would keep it disabled. So I can actually offload everything to my process. Now, the next thing would be TCP chimney offload. Just disable that. Large send offload or LSO, disable that. 
TCP 1323 timestamps, just disable that too. Now after doing that, we can go ahead and proceed to the advanced settings. Now for the settings in this one, we want to make our max connection per one underscore zero server to 10. Max connection per server is 10. Local priority, host priority, DNS priority, and net BT priority should be 4567 as correspond. Um, you can see in the screen right now anyway. Uh, max since uh, retransmission should be 2. Now the resiliency should be disabled. For the initial RTO, you want to set it to 2000. Minimum RTO should be on 300. Now the QoS should be on 0. Do not use NLA should be optimal 1. Network throttling should be disabled because if that's enabled, it's going to throttle your network. And then the system responsive should be gaming. It should be set to 0. Now for the gaming tweaks, so frequency disabled, no delay enabled, and then text should be on 0. Large system cache should be on default, or you can disable this one, up to you. Size would be optimized, which is number 3. And then the dynamic port allocation should be 65534 on the max user port, and 30 on the um, time wait delay. Now, with all of that said, we can actually move on and press on apply changes. Now, if you're feeling a little bit more techy, you can actually go back to the general settings, and you can see there's this thing called the MTU, just right next to your network adapter um, selection bar thingy. Now, right now, it defaults to 1500 or 1500 or 1500, but you can actually mess around a little bit with this. Now, I'm not really a professional with networks, but all I know is you can lower this or higher this depending on the packet loss you receive from pinging something. Now, we're going to use Google as kind of like the base. So we can head over to our CMD right here and run the program and type the code ping-f-l1472 google.com. We're just going to ping Google and then we're going to see how well it responds to us. Now, as you can see, it has a TTL 55, 55, 55, very consistent. And then the next thing here is we got um, packet sent for received for. So we have zero loss. Now, some of you may receive some loss. Some of you may receive none. But if you do receive some loss, try to lower down the 1500 you can try to make it well 1450 1420 1400 even but i'm not a network guy but i'm going to provide something on the description below you can try to read that to learn more about um, the MTU. Now just an additional thing, optimization too i guess we can head over and change our dns you probably heard of this before changing from google to cloudflare some of you may get fixed ping windows plus r which will bring up the run window. Type in ncpa.cpl. Now this window will pop up after you press enter. It's like the network connections window. Now find which adapter you are using. Again, I'm using my actual USB adapter. You can probably be using Ethernet, so select that one. But whichever one you're using, you want to right click it and head over to properties. Now after going to properties, you want to find TCP slash IPv4, Internet Protocol version 4. And you want to go and press on that. Make sure it's checked, by the way, the checkboxes. And then go to properties. Now, after going to properties, you can go ahead and press on use the following DNS server addresses. Now, as I told you, I'll be using Cloudflare instead of Google DNS. So this is the Cloudflare preferred and alternate DNS. So it would be 1111 on the preferred. And then for the alternate, you want to do 1001. Now press OK, press close, press exit on that window because you're able to exit it now. You want to run CMD as administrator one more time and just type ipconfig slash flush DNS. Now you can restart your system just to make sure everything works well. After all that, here's how my game is working now. On second, we were getting around 130 ping and then around 0 to 4 rollback frames and then 0 to 3 delayed frames. Now, it may just be due to the person that I'm fighting. Maybe it was with the time of the internet. But clearly, when we moved on after the TCP optimization, we were reaching somewhere between lower ping and also lesser delay frames and rollback frames. So we were like 0 to 2 um, on both of those. So that's a big improvement. But then again, might just be the game and the match that we're having. But for the next one, Fortnite, the before ping that we were having on Fortnite was around 40 in the lobby, 44 mid-match, and around 53 ping. That was the highest that I was able to see. And then for our after the optimization using TCP optimizer, we were reaching a solid 40 right on the bus right here, but staying still around the 44 mark. Now, 
Do I recommend TCP optimizer? I mean, it's not gonna hurt you if you try it, right? And it has a lot of different feedback from different PC, from different internet providers. So I guess you should tell me if it works for you. Because honestly, I don't know. Because there's a lot of variables happening here. But honestly, it may be a placebo effect, but the internet became a lot more consistent and smoother after the TCP optimization and the DNS change. But again, it can be just the DNS change or maybe it's just the TCP optimizer that did the optimization. So I honestly just tell you to try it, back up your file, how it works prior to any optimization. Do this guide, copy my settings, and then tell me in the description below if everything worked out better for you.